Hello, lifers! It's Jason Love with Jason Love's Life, and I'm here in Michigan. Uh, we're gonna go see if we can get access to the USS Silverside. The USS Silverside is a World War II submarine. Uh, I don't know much about it other than it's a World War II submarine and that supposedly you can go in it. But it's the middle of winter, so we're gonna find out if, uh, if that's still possible. Let's go check it out. That look cool. Remember that? It looks like the snow and sand. It's so windy, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me. It's sort of strange pulling up to the submarine. Uh, I got weirdly uh, teared up a little bit. And I'm not really a sentimental guy. But I think it was more just this idea that this thing can go underwater. Like all the engineering things that went into it. And, and something you would never think you would see in real life is this submarine. Like a mythical, almost like a mythical vehicle people can live under the water in it and all the science behind it and all the work and all the people who make it work and even though it won't go underwater while we're in it it's just amazing to think about um, and then also the history the World War II history yeah it's just crazy uh, yeah weird emotions I'm guessing that's a replica. That is not here, but this is a cool. Some cool uh, models. Pretty neat. So for those that can't read it, it says uh, this is the control system for the nuclear submarine USS Silverside. So it's a periscope to outside. 
to this day to get back to that promise. After rehabilitation, Bob Miller spent his last two months of enlistment in Southern California, overseeing the other items of training. At times, he would comment that he spent most of his last days in the Army bringing the boys home from the barn, which was a far cry from his father before he. Miller eventually reunited with Harvey and Paul, and they were married on October 25th, 1947. Then Bob would recall the nights which that took him to several areas of the United States, and eventually many countries around the world. He never offered us his complete story in one of his children's high school history class costumes. Nazi death camps were designed to inflict genocide to those deemed unworthy of love. Arriving prisoners meant a swift, systematic elimination. Trevalinka is one of many infamous death camps. German death camp victims were often required to dig mass graves prior to their extermination. German conquered over 1,000 prisoner of war Stalag camps during World War II. Stalag's housed military soldiers captured from active duty in the Balkans. Approximately 15,000 American, British, and Canadian soldiers were captured in the Balkans. This must be where they do all the different, uh, some of the mechanisms inside the submarine. Let's check it out. Is the radar? Sonar? I assume that's what that is. If you know what this stuff is, you should uh, post it in the comments. I'd be curious to know what uh, what these things are. Like, what is this? Oh, you're right. I think it says here. Check it out. That's the, it's a battery. <laughs> so that's the submarine battery. That is a uh, 50 cap. No. Anyways, it's a it's a shell, and there's a horn.
all these goggles. Very tempting <laughs> to pull that bit. I'm sure it's uh, decommissioned, whatever you call it. Oh, cool. radar pickets. Alright. Battleships. That one's not working. Oh, these are different. These are destroyers. These are the aircraft carriers. Ah, that makes sense. So you're setting up so your aircraft carriers have uh, good defense with battleships and cruisers. But the Japanese are known to have garrison there, so the chances that they're captured are almost 100%. And then there was this string of tiny islands to the north. So they decided, we'll head north, hopefully we can find food and water. We are not ready to surrender to the Japanese yet. Captain Crowley got us together and uh, we made the gentleman agreement that everybody's for themselves. You're not supposed to ask for help or anything like that. For many, injuries and the exhausting swim proved too much. Lieutenant Casey, for some reason, he had, couldn't swim on his stomach, he could only swim on his back, and he couldn't see. And this one time he got 
quite a ways from us. So I went over to get him and I said, just rest and put your feet on my shoulder and I'll push it back there. Oh, and I need to slot in one to think about it. Less than an hour later, I was looking for him and he was gone. He just swam off to one side and uh, gave up. Dawn came, and of the 15 men who surfaced after the explosion, only eight remained. At last, a small island came into view on the horizon. We did see the land, and we decided which island. All right, now let's go uh, you know, check out this battleship. Super excited. Trying to get cold. It's Those torpedo tubes. A lot of ducking. 
feel like there's gonna be a lot of ducking involved. Whoa. There's the water. Lake Michigan. Oh, it feels warm in here. That's a big, uh, big torpedo. There's just like stuff everywhere. Oh, look at that. How do you go potty under the water? Or take a shower. All right, now the question is, how do I fit? Let's see if I can fit in there. Let's see what we got. Oh, I don't know what that. Is. Like a kitchen area. Looks like some coffee. Oh, pantry. You can serve food. Serve food through here. Oh shit, that was scary. So this part right here is under the water. So in the video, they said that somebody actually had their appendix removed while they were out in the middle of nowhere, and they did it right on this table. And it's, a, it's a good story. I don't know the whole thing, so if you get a chance, uh, watch the video and they talk about it. So these are sinks, I believe they said. A little wash basin to shave and whatnot. I don't know if I could sleep on that thing. I don't feel like I feel like I'm too tall. Basin. Is that an intercom? Speaker amplifier unit. Bah. It doesn't even look like glass. It looks like a... Yeah, it's metal. I wonder if there was glass. Probably not. Let's check. Those other ones. 
Yeah, it looks like it's all metal made to shine. So it's an office. Do that as a tiny. And the door closes. <laughs> I feel like a bit claustrophobic. That is a tiny office. A oh, phone. You can call the different rooms. It's pretty neat. doors. Wow. Wow. Dude. Dude. What is this? Oh, must be where the compass is. I don't know what that is. I just hit my head. <laughs> my bad. It's just like stuff everywhere you got to fit it I guess and so yeah a bit overwhelming like there's another phone that's like hidden almost among all those circuits and breakers and stuff a lamp A big coffee machine. Oh yeah, look at that. I think this is where they cook the food for the uh, for the crew, and the other place is more like a, I think like a captain's quarter where they eat. There's a sink. Some kind of, is that a mixer of some sort? Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't know if I could... I guess if I would slug... <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. First aid kit, that's important. It's like a shower and bathroom. Thought I was seeing water drip. But it's just the shiny silver. That's not a lot of privacy. Another one of these drawers. I just, just noted this. Just noticed this. There's something going on under these floors. Alright, another one of these. Another door. Another way out. How do we do we go out the same way we came in? This is a tight this is a tight squeeze. Alright. Oh here, okay. Whoa. Look at all the generators. I don't know if you can hear me yet. I think they pump heat in here, which is nice, because otherwise I'd probably be freezing. I wonder what these I wonder if these are people who are running the engines, why there's beds back here, or just extra. Let's see if I can get by. Ah, uh, there we go. 
<laughs> Imagine sleeping here next to a torpedo. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. This is nuts. Well, that's the whole submarine. We're gonna go check out. There was uh, one more thing we could check out. It was the, there, I found it. We're gonna go check out the, how do you even say that? The USCGC McLean. Uh, let me go look. On the way out, I just noticed this is kind of neat. They have the toolbox. And got to have somewhere to work. Um, yeah, it's cool. So that's where we're going right now. Let's get over there. So this is a Coast Guard ship. I wasn't expecting a giant gun on the front of the Coast Guard ship. Uh, whoa. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit wobbly. said just be careful ah, remember the oh yeah dude that's that's slick that's locked okay Oh, here we go. Kind of a creepy noise. Oh. Ah, it's a bit wobbly. Is this storage? So it's a uh, Boltman's locker. Oh, there you can see it. 
this side first. The boiler room. Oh, I think I'm going backwards. Whoa. Like there's a slight incline. So it feels weird. That's small. That is a small office. So we can see out the portal. Boom! Right, I think we're going backwards. But it is what it is. This way. Uh, bell. I thought I saw a way to go. Oh, I think we have to go outside and go up. All right, we'll go up. Out and up. There we go. Oh, it looks like it's locked. Well, let's go up and take a look. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The U.S. Coast Guard Cutter uh, McLean W146, and then also the uh, shoot, what is it? The Silverman, the USS Silverside. I just drew a blank on what it's called. Uh, they're called a submarine, USS Silverside submarine. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, a lot to take in and could definitely spend longer thanks for watching if you want more of these like travel vlogs that's where we're leaning towards doing more of those and maybe including the family a bit so let us know what would you like to see would you like to see more travel vlogs would you like to see uh, more just family videos would you like to see travel vlogs mixed with family videos uh, put it in the comments and then also if you have a place to recommend especially in the midwest area uh, i'm looking for places to visit so thanks for watching and please subscribe and i'll talk to you soon